Hey, this is CJ Math students. Welcome to Lesson 1, Session 2. You should be on page 9 of your workbook. Really important, whatever I write down on my paper, you're down on yours. You might need to pause the video a little bit more than usual. So, um, today we're going to be looking at this problem where I'm giving you kind of a map um, of a town. And I'm saying, here's the school and here's the distance between the library, the train station, and town hall. Now, there's a scale to this map, right? These things aren't actually 3.5 centimeters away from each other because then buildings would literally be right on top of each other. So this is saying that 2 centimeters is equal to 500 feet. Now, in order to solve some of this today, we need to remind ourselves of what a scale factor is. A scale factor is a number multiplies a quantity. Make sure you get that down. Um, on Friday, we were looking at scale factors of shapes. So make sure you draw this rectangle here. You've got the sides of 2 to 6 and the sides of 4 to 12. Um, in this rectangle, you'll notice in order to prove that this rectangle is a scale copy of this rectangle, um, we've got 2 times 2 gives us 4, and 6 times 2 gives us 12. So we have a scale factor of 2 in, that, uh, in those two rectangles. Now, if you'll notice in the triangles here, we've got um, sides of 5 and 3, and 12 and 6. Well, 3 times 2 does give us 6, but 5 times 2 doesn't get us 12, so that is not a scale copy. All right, so take a moment, make sure that you have this written down on your notebook. As you turn over to page 10, you'll notice you have the same problem again. And you, again, we're going to focus on the scale, 2 centimeters to 500. Now, it probably is better to have that as 1. So take your calculator here, and let's take our 500 and divide that by 2. So you'll notice that uh, if 2 centimeters is equal to 500 feet, that 1 centimeter is equal to 250 feet. And that's exactly our scale factor. 1 centimeter is equal to 250 feet. I did that by dividing 500 by 2. Uh, now there's a bunch of different ways that we can model this. We can model this with a double number line. And you'll notice that 1 centimeter is equal to 250 feet. And then we just jump by 250 feet. When we have 0.5 centimeters in between, taking that 250 and dividing it by 2 to get 125. So that's how 750 becomes 875 when we jump from 3 to 3.5. Another way you can model it is by making a table. Um, and you'll notice in this table, 1 times 250 gets you to 250. 2 times 250 gets you to 500 over here if we want. So essentially, multiplying each distance by the scale factor of 250 will get you the actual distance. So let's move over to page 11. On page 11, you'll see that in order to find out the total distance of the library, the map said it was 3.5 centimeters away from the school. So multiply that by 250, and the actual distance is 700 feet. For the town hall, the map said it was 4.5 centimeters away from school. So multiply by the scale factor of 250, and you get 1,125 feet. The train station said it was 4 centimeters away from the school, uh, and so therefore you multiply by 250 and you get the actual distance of 1,000 feet. We're going to skip question 2 and move on to question 3. It says, look at the second model it and say, how is the scale factor like a unit rate? Well, it's pretty simple. Our scale is a rate for how many feet equal or represent one centimeter and we always know a unit rate is out of one so for question four we're going to pretend like we have a scale drawing let's say we have a portrait a portrait of we'll say president obama and the scale is 14 inches to eight inches um, but we know that one inch is actually equal to two feet so how would we figure out how big his actual portrait is well simply we would multiply by the dimensions so 14 inches times two gives us 28 feet 8 inches times 2 gives us 60 feet. So his actual portrait is 28 feet by 16 feet. Finally, we've got the actual distance between the library and train station is actually 500 feet. So our uh, scale was off. Explain how you could find the distance between them in centimeters on the map if we had to redraw that. So just ask yourself, what are you comparing? Well, you're comparing centimeters and feet. So write that as a fraction, centimeters over feet. Then you're asking yourself, what's my scale factor? Well, my scale factor is 1 centimeter is equal to 250 feet, right? And now you're going to set that equal to uh, your new fraction. How many centimeters would be equal to 500 feet? So just ask yourself, well, how do I get from 250 to 500? I multiply that by 2. 
How do I get from one centimeter to this X that I don't know? I multiply that by two. So 500 feet would actually be equal to two centimeters.